My tumor was just like me, small, aggressive, but well-behaved. I was 38 years old and never been sick in my life. No one in my family ever had breast cancer. I understood small and stage one, but aggressive scared me. Chemotherapy, lose my hair, radiation treatments. I shuddered to think of the decisions I would have to make. The irony of it all struck me. I am a master's prepared nurse working with hospitalized cancer patients. I should know how to make the right decision. I didn't know where to turn for help. It all seemed so scattered. Then it hit me. If this is so hard for a trained nurse like me, how in the world do patients and families with no medical background do this? I would go through the back door at the hospital to avoid seeing any of my coworkers. I could only see that feeling sorry for me look in their face. I wanted to hide. I felt guilty that my life as I knew it had stopped and it was life as usual for them. They had to take up the slack. I hated being a patient. I wanted to be the nurse. My nephew helped change all that. He wrote a moving and inspirational letter to friends and family to step up to the plate in the fight against breast cancer. He didn't mention me in the letter, but I knew why he was doing the fundraising. I remember how this effort made me feel so loved and supported. I am a strong-willed Italian, so it was easy for me to torment everyone I knew constantly until we found a way to turn my idea of a breast cancer walk into reality for others in my situation. Millions of dollars later, my Rays of Hope walk has taught me that one person can make a difference. Never doubt your power to be a person of influence.